Hi, I'm Yvonne Blomer. I'm reading How to Bury a Man at Sea from Jacqueline Larson Carmichael's Amid the Guns, True Stories from the Western Front. For some soldiers, the war meant world travel to places like Africa, India, the Persian Gulf, especially when the war went truly global in its scope in 1917. But it was anything but glamorous, despite the promise of see the world recruiting posters. Alan Matheson Conquergood was at the older end of the age spectrum for regular soldiers. At 45, he had a good 25 years on many of the fellows he marched with. In 1914, recruiters were picky, turning away many potential recruits. Uses eyeglasses, flat feet, too short, too light, too old. By the time the native of Kincardine, Ontario was enlisted in 1916 with the 239th Battalion's Railway Construction Corps, recruiters could no longer be so discriminating. In fact, Conquer Good's medical records show he was missing fingers on his right hand from an agricultural accident. The doctor concluded he could still write and seemed to do okay. He passed with points to spare. At war, Conquer Good wrote lengthy journal entries. He wrote about the harrowing time he was in a boat stuck in a sandbar in a river near Baghdad where he was to build a bridge in the Persian Gulf, where other boats had been destroyed. He described deadly fires on board his ship and explosions in the coal bunkers. He wrote about the fierce heat and the hundreds of camels and donkeys that helped with work on the Kerr River. Bridge completed. I had quite an adventure today. I killed a big wolf with a tent pole. He was very bold, for he came right into camp. He was as big as a timber wolf. Amid awful weather, tragedy struck a seasick man. Conquer Good wrote, storm still raging. One of the soldiers heaved last night until he burst a blood vessel and died. So we had a funeral this morning. They sew people dying at sea up in a canvas and weigh it with iron and wrap the flag around the canvas loosely, put the corpse on a plank, slow up and stop the boat, hold the flag and tip up the plank and they slide off into the water, but first a short service. <laughs>